What is up killers, Kevin today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the professor on our website this week. This is going to be episode 616 within my series, but without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. Improved Ebony Armor, coming in at 3.8 megabytes of a download, Ebony Armor has been massively improved with a mashup of all sorts of different things between Knight's Armor, Ebony Armor Edits by a notorious mod author on the Professor Dunner website, and a reshaped Ebony Helmet by another mod author too. The chest piece, the gauntlets and the boots are pretty much streamlined within this particular set, and the helmet looks way better than the original vanilla one, as it kind of looks a little bit ugly in this one. Does does give more of a focus to more of that streamline look to this particular set of armor and also as well flows very nicely with the overall shaping to do with this particular armor i really do love this not only the helmet has been dramatically changed looks absolutely breathtaking but also at the same time the actual armor itself has been slightly tweaked ever so slightly but guys you will notice a dramatic difference i certainly did especially from looking from the rear too and uh, just generally a very nice upgrade from the vanilla armor within the base game. Billy Roo Armors and Weapons Compendium coming in at 220 megabytes of a download. This is an open perms and permissions from the nexusmods.com to head over to the Professor.net website. This includes every arm and weapon by Billy Roo to date. We've pretty much covered a lot of that original mod author stuff on this particular channel and without a shadow of a doubt all of the models, meshes and textures are going to be absolutely finesse. If you want a high quality mod to add it within your game for or let's be honest not a lot of download size for this one you do get an awful lot within it now i'm not too sure how many weapons you do get with this particular set there's probably going to be over 20 or 30 weapons they are looking like absolutely awesome I haven't seen one yet which i don't like and as well with this particular one you will get five sets or sorry four sets of armor but obviously you will get the additional set of quotation armor that is going to be in a variant of shield heavy and light Honestly, guys, this is really nice indeed. Some of the armors, as we have covered prior to this, aka the Peacekeeper armor, which is going to be for females only and will not appear on male characters. We've also seen the other ones of Spell Swords armor set, which is great for males. So anyone is kind of looking for a little bit of a Viking build or a Templar build with that chain mail. And as well, all of the weapons you can pretty much fit into any particular class or playstyle that you are currently using within the game. IA92's Playable Elder Race, coming in 106.5 kilobytes of a download. This particular mod author, I definitely think, has pulled it out of the bag on this particular mod. Uh, this is a really nice mod for a race. So not only as well, we do get a little bit of a backstory there from the Greybeards itself. They've also sprinkled a little bit of the Lord of the Rings sort of feel within it. The textures are going to be looking really great, not only for the face, but obviously through the neck, the sort of uh, wrinkles, if you want to call them that guys and uh, flying through the actual main body itself is absolutely spot on this isn't just sort of like a slight tweak to it and as well I really like the fact that there's a ton of presets with this particular one we do get a treat or a glimpse of all the things that come with it so such as skill bonus of alchemy of 10 enchanting 10 illusion restoration smithing speech and light armor all going to be ability skills of 10 uh, the spells and ability are going to be calm and the elder skills mastery is going to have a few different things in there which is going to be the fortified all skills by 25% for 60 seconds. The base stats are going to be 100 health, 100 magicka, stamina 50, and carry weight of 100. A little bit less due to the sort of traditional name of Elder. But this is a really cool mod. I really do like this one. Hats off to this. It's going to be in all platforms too for all of us to enjoy. Ultimate Solitude coming at 351 megabytes of a download. A port from the NexusMods.com. This is a retexture pack for the city of Solitude interior and exterior textures are covered all textures were created from scratch from the original model that at 4k but obviously we'd have to downsize that to 2k for the xbox please do bear that in mind obviously the resolution will dramatically be way better on the pc that is from the original port of that one and they can upscale to 4k but for us we are limited to that 2k and you can definitely tell it is a 2k texture running through solitude it looks absolutely great especially some of the mossy leaves on the actual castle walls itself do look absolutely 
phenomenal. Now this actually worked beautifully with all my other different Solitude plugins to do with my mod selection. Uh, personally, this is kind of like a really, really high resolution and quality mod for vanilla Solitude. It doesn't really change anything else. You've probably seen a few little screenshots here. I think this is Solitude Market sort of mod that I had with in my particular load order. But for this one, it is gonna be true to what it is. It is a beautiful high texture vanilla overhaul to do with solitude pretty animated potions coming in at 80.8 .8 megabytes of a downloaded port from the nexus mods dot Calm. Yet another animated potion mod, but this time it's going to be smaller bottles coming in at a 1k texture. Now, they have been implemented with about 150 modification models that have been implemented within the game, which is absolutely insane for the membrane. But visible of the animation and glow effects are going to be dependent on certain things, such as in game time of day, use a lighting mod to see this particular one, any light source will bring it out even more. Your screen and your Skyrim brightness settings should be sort of turned up and overall display settings will be changed for giving you the best results to see. I personally could see it straight away. The bottles on these particular potions, all of the potions, shall I say, within the game have been changed and they look absolutely finesse. Also as well, as so the animated potion or potions that you are looking at and they are running through. You can slightly see them really up close as well. I think the benefit of this one is going to be all the factors that we did talk about, turning up your brightness, time of day, zooming in, having a little look at that. But if you're not bothered as well, there is a different version out there currently, which actually is the vanilla one. I don't think it's going to be animated, but I'm not too sure what the download size of that one is. But for this one, I thought it was really great. We've covered a load of animated potion mods onto the channel, and this one is a nice new addition, if not an upgrade, rolling on through to the year. So guys, that's the end of this particular video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, I'd very much appreciate a like on the video. It does help me out an awful lot. This has been episode 660. 16. Wow, we it's absolutely insane to think that we have covered over probably 3,000 mods on the channel. Absolutely insane, or should I say 3,000 mods within this series, guys? If you're new around here, click that subscribe button, I'd very much appreciate it. Click the little bell if you want to go above and beyond to get a notification for every single time I post a bit of content like this to the channel. But, guys, until the next one, this has been Killer Kev here and Killer Kev out.